Hello friend, Daniel here with StockMusicLicensing.com. In this video, I wanna share with you my latest sales on Pond5. So I had two sales last night, I received this email, and it's a fantastic thing when you get emails from Pond5. Not every library emails you every time you get a sale. Now here is what I wanna share with you. I have been selling consistently on Pond5 many different edits, and these are 15 second edits, things, and I sell this individually. And as well, I sell a lot of acoustic tracks. For example, this particular one, uh, Warm uh, Latin Acoustic, is a very popular uh, acoustic track of mine that I have mentioned before here on this channel. I have shared my sales here on Pond5 with this particular track. I sell this track as well on Audio Jungle. And Audio Jungle doesn't perform very well though. This particular track does very well here on Pond5. It does very well on uh, Envato Elements, which Envato Elements is a subscription uh, based model that uh, part of the Envato market. But that being said, what I want you to notice here is that I have uh, some edits, which are my bread and butter, if you will, of uh, my income or my sales here on Pond5. And what I like about this uh, on Pond5 is that I sell them individually. I preach a lot about this, uh, meaning that you can have this edit on a library like Audio Jungle as part of the the track, meaning that you are offering alternative uh, versions of that particular track, but you can only sell it as a, as a one-time sell, meaning that those edits will be part of the main version. As you can see with this uh, recent sales, there are 15 second edits, which is really popular. For example, on podcasting, our intros, transitions, even outros of podcasts, you know, 15 second edits, it's a really useful format. Now, my favorite place to sell these edits is right here on Pond5. I know that a lot of newcomers to Pond5 uh, complain a lot about not having a lot of uh, sales on Pond5, the meaning that they don't have uh, any traction whatsoever. They're, they check the analytics, they see that they, nobody's watching or nobody's seeing those tracks. And on Pond5, you can have some analytics per track where you can see how many uh, views your tracks are having. If somebody at least have clicked on it and seen it and, and hopefully have heard your music. I don't want you to get discouraged because once you start selling, this kind of like a snowball effect starts to take place. For example, with this particular track of mine, Warm Latin Acoustic is a perfect example of that. Once I start selling that music track, it starts to like take some kind of, a, I don't know if it's an algorithm kind of thing that it starts to be found more, but I do see this track being uh, sold again and again and again. Now here's one thing to consider, on this last a sale or this last license, it's a custom license. It's the very first time I sell a custom license here on Pond5. Uh, and if you don't know what a custom license is, this is what uh, Pond5 has to say according to what a custom license means. Now, it's a little bit confusing and not very specific, if you will, that I wish we could have more information when it comes down to different licenses, uh, but you can see that the income is a little bit uh, or the price tag is a little bit higher and, and I get a little bit more. So, uh, but still, there's not a lot of information when it comes down to this custom license and what it exactly means. Where is this music gonna be used? Uh, but nevertheless, you know, I just wanna share with you what is possible for you. Don't get discouraged if you haven't uh, started selling anything on Pond5 just yet. It is possible. I highly recommend for you to sell your music on Pond5. It's the easiest way to get started in conjunction with Audio Jungle. Audio Jungle is a little bit harder to get your foot in the door, uh, but, but sales do fluctuate from time to time on either library. But here on Pond5, the great thing for anybody that is in the stock music licensing business is to do edits of your music and specifically to sell them individually on Pond5. Now this has worked for me very, very well. I do sell more edits than my uh, full version of that particular track. 
And I think you're, you're providing a lot of value to the client because the client maybe doesn't want to listen to two minutes of your music track. They just need a little piece of it. And they should be able to just buy that little section, 15 seconds. That's all they need. Now, here's a hack, and this is what I've been doing. I price those edits the same price as my full version. What that means is that if the client wants to buy the two minute version of that particular track, it has the same price with the edit, which is a 15 second edit version of it. And this proves the point that the client is not so much concerned with the price tag, they're concerned with finding the right music and even finding the right length of music, what they need. They don't want the two minutes, they just need 15 seconds of that particular music track. And they're more than happy to pay for that price. I hope this video is helpful to you. I hope this video will encourage you to do your edits and to upload them and sell them individually on Pond5. And if you're somebody that is new to music licensing or to royalty-free libraries, download my free guide, link in the description. Also, I have a free workshop where I walk you through the different steps and strategies that you can follow in order to earn between $500 a month and $1,000 every single month by selling your music on libraries like Pond5. The link will be in the description. And as always, thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Rock and roll. And here's to your success.